Hi everyone. What the heck? Welcome to a new video. But technically that video is going to be pushed for later. So I don't know how I'm going to do it with the whole editing thing. If I get back to this later, then it'll be its own video and it'll be complete. But today we're going to retire her for just a tad. I must breathe. It's even just chaotic looking at the table, the aftermath. I got so frustrated. I spent days making no progress because I wanted this bodice part to be this whole shoulder pad thing. I didn't want to ruin it. I wanted it to have the right pattern. I didn't even want to come into the sewing room each night. I was just dreading it at this point. We're going to put a pause on this. We're literally just going to put it off to the side and it's going to be okay. And I don't have to feel like I had to do that one next. Moving forward means that I can get something done and feel productive and be in a better mood and maybe I can come back to the thing later. <laughs> Look how many attempts I did to do a sleeve. I'm gonna throw that away because I can't be bothered to even save it for anything. I'm just so done with it. I have a dress in mind, but I need to look through my designs. I'm not like making the official dresses for the collection. I'm just working on the pattern. And then I also just picked this up for free because this lady gave me free fabric that I saw the post on Facebook. And all these trash bags you see are all the free fabrics she gave me. I am so thankful. There's so much stuff in here that I could definitely see myself using. I know some people who have talked about wanting to like sew and maybe coming over. So basically we're gonna start a new design. We're gonna retire this for just a little bit longer. Why did I pick the phone up? I'm just gonna put it back down. We're gonna put her back here. So from the designs, I kind of like this one. This one might work it's similar. It's a little bit different on the back, not long sleeves. I feel like it's between these two. So I have this black fabric and oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. I have to dig through it to get it. But in all these bags of stuff that I got, I actually got this black material that would be perfect to line it. And I got a bolt of black tulle and that's like all that I needed. I don't know if I have enough fabric to do the sleeves, but I'm gonna have three layers on the skirt. So there's the main outer layer there's tool to give it some volume and then there's the lining skirt underneath and then the bodice will be lined with the same lining material we're gonna go with this one this is the lucky winner Woohoo! hello another day another dollar there's no dollars i have no money from these dresses that's okay that's why we're oh you're probably like what are you doing i'm turning on the light i never hung up on the ceiling so it just stays here like that but you know what it does the job it's time to get to work. I'm tired, to be honest. I feel very sleepy. She's just there. It's like, move out of the way. I just got photos back from a photo shoot that a friend did with another friend who's a photographer and they both did so good. As a photographer, I always saw it from like step one to the end, you know? So to just roll, well, bam, get photos, like it's just really cool. Well, let's get started. We've got a lot to go. Yesterday, I just gathered the fabric and then I cut the skirt to the length that I needed it to. Today, we're going to cut out the pieces. This is what I have to work with for the bodice. Like literally, this is it. This is it. All right, I need to get to work.
over here and make a video and the first thing that pops in your head as you're walking along is the ends go marching one by one around. okay hi it's me oh gosh why do i record early honestly at this point it's just entertainment hello we are now moving on to the skirt to this black dress and i don't even remember the last thing i recorded here's the bodice i decided to do cups i mean they came out pretty well to be honest this is an a cup size 2 dress because i keep finding that size in models of people that i get along really well with the inside i did serge it i don't feel like making it pretty on the inside because this is a sample dress i don't think it really matters but i'll probably be learning some new ways to like do bustiers and finish them off we've got this would never fit me <laughs> We've got the skirt material off to the side that I'm going to be gathering, and that's the bottom of the skirt. That is the bottom. I cannot wait to steam it and put this whole thing together. Like, I'm literally stoked about this. On the floor over here, we have the fabric I'm going to use for lining. Debating if I even want to use this. I actually do have other kinds of fabric that I could use, like bed sheet fabric. It's very stretchy and it just makes me think that, like, it could be really useful for something else. And you know what I just realized I did? I laid that down perfectly. I measured it and that's why I left it on the floor. And look what I just did. Now it's just... I'm not going to use it now because I'm so mad about that. I think we're going to keep her strapless with potentially optional sleeves. Also, I just saw this dress that I have. I saw them use rat tail cord. If you don't know what rat tail cord, I believe that's the official name. Or maybe I don't know. I do have it. I know I have it. I know I bought it and put it somewhere. This is awkward. Okay, I can't find it. Anyway, I saw it placed in this dress that I have in my wardrobe in the garage today. And I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think to use that? It's like perfect for loops. It is a total time saver. Maybe I'll show it to you if I find it. We're gonna get to work. We're into the skirt let's go it's been some time i got very frustrated about this whole rat tail thing went on a whole mad searching spree and then it was literally in this spot that i already looked at i don't know how i missed it this is it though so this is how thin it is like that perfect little loops and then we're gonna use black ribbon because all black is like what i'm going for for this dress that is the plan now i feel better i found the rat tail literally looks like a rat To a point where I can flip the dress and it's that moment where like it's sewn together when I flip it inside out it's gonna look finished here goes mm -hmm. 